Hello everyone and welcome back to Roll for Damage. So today I'm going to show you how uh, I use tabletop audio to uh, for rather my, my games. I use them as ambiance and music in my games. They have this handy feature called SoundPad which is amazing and if you're not using this as a DM right now you're doing it wrong. No, that's not entirely true. Any game of D&D is a good game no matter what. But uh, this definitely enhances your experience as a DM or as a player. Now when you first come to Tabletop Audio, this is going to be uh, the window you see. And this is basically a window filled with all of his existing songs and ambiances and music, minimal music, ambiance combos, blah, 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 blah. There is a lot of content on this page. Now, if you just, for instance, only want a horror game, you can click on the horror and it takes out uh, all the uh, musics, all the all the uploaded sounds and stuff that does not have that tag of horror. So, you know, for instance, I run fantasy mostly. So it takes out all the sci-fi, it takes out all the modern, um, and leaves me with only the fantasy or things that have the fantasy tag attached to it. And that kind of ensures that I just don't have, you know, sirens going off in the in the background on accident during a fantasy game it just kind of throws you out now uh, what you can do is you can select a song you like and you can hit play now instantly uh, let me turn this down a bit um, so you have your your songs and these last for 10 minutes and the reason they're 10 minutes long is because it's long enough to ensure that you don't have to worry about music, um, but it's not too long where you can change your thing. So he wanted it at 10 minutes, so every single track on this page is 10 minutes long. Now you can create playlists simply by just selecting add, and what that doing is it's compiling your playlist up here. Um, you can share this link, so now all my players uh, that I'm, say I'm playing online through uh, Fantasy Grounds or Roll20. Um, I can copy this link, share it with them in the chat. When they open it up, they hear exactly the same thing that I hear. Now, this is really cool when you're playing online because you're already disconnected from those players or the DM. Um, and, and you're staring at a computer screen and you're not as enveloped as you are in a normal game where you're all sitting at the table enjoying each other's camaraderie and stuff like that. Uh, this element of bridging that disconnect between players and the DM is, is just crucial, in my opinion, for online gaming. Uh, I use this even in my in-house games. My children listen to this stuff as they go to bed. I listen to this non-stop. Um, this is just a great asset as a DM or just as a person. Uh, there's there's beautiful music. He is a composer, uh, I believe, from New York. And he just does amazing work. So we have those playlists. We can save our playlists. Uh, we can create links. I can click this and clear it entirely. Um, click on Q, and that hides my Q. Uh, but... What I really, really, really love about uh, this online feature is he has a sound pad. Now, all these sound pads are specific to obviously what they say. So, like the True West, I, I ran this sound, uh, this sound pad with uh, Hank Fresnel's ICRPG of Ghost Mountain. This was amazing. It was so much fun, and it, it was just. It just it infused us all with that feeling that we were in the Wild West, that we were in 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 this world that Hank built. Um, so instance, or for instance, rather. Uh, so let's go ahead and get us some music. This music is gorgeous. Um, so we have an, a nice theme going, and then let's say I just wanted some Rolling Thunder in the background. Now, this will probably sound terrible on my system because it's it's being broadcasted through my speakers on the tabletop and recorded by my my cam 
uh, microphone, which I know is going to give a horrible sound. So please do not take this sound quality into consideration when listening to this. Go to this website and find this out for yourself. Uh, my lack of, of equipment should not stand in the way of your, you getting a better gaming experience. So, what I can do is I can set this stage of, you know, I want a campfire. Uh, I want a hawk in the background. Now, the hawk has this option where I can loop it if I wanted, or I could turn it off. Uh, I want coyotes. You can bring that volume up, or you can bring that volume way down. There's a bartender. I don't want say. no trouble now, you hear? <laughs> so if I wanted to, uh, you know, have my people in the tavern or something like that. Um, so let's say we're outside. I want planes. Uh, let's turn planes off. Let's turn crickets on. I have rolling thunder in the background. Um, sounds like a nice, quiet, dark around a campfire you know that that's the kind of picture I'm seeing so uh, turn my uh, I would have this on but I know it's gonna sound terrible on my system trying to record this at the same time so I'm gonna leave that off for now um, but let's say I build the stage how I want it to and this is exactly what I want my players to, to, to feel uh, what I do is I start broadcast and that creates my exact sound pad and I copy this, I send it to all my players in chat, they click on it, it instantly brings them to my sound pad. So now, when a, a fight breaks out and I shoot one of them, or somebody's taking shots at them from, you know, from the cover of darkness, they automatically hear those sounds. I don't have to re-update my sound pad. It's just, they're like, oh shit, we're being shot at. From where? Everybody roll initiative. So it's really cool when, when you're watching these people on the screen and, and, and you know, you shoot off some rounds at them and you see their eyes go wide like, oh, we're, we're, we have a campfire going in the middle of nowhere. Of course, you know, we're sitting ducks right now. How dumb was this? And you see the realization or the, the, the horror in their eyes as they're like oh we just made a mistake or oh wow that was really cool did you hear that or you know you have the the you know the the dungeon sound pad going and you hear the portcullis slam shut and then you hear a snarl come through the tunnel it's such an awesome feeling that infuses you into this game um so you have all these really really cool uh, sound pads and all of these are amazing if you're not using these for your game you have to start doing this you will thank me later you will thank Tim you will join his patreon and give him lots of money because this man deserves it more than anybody I know um, so here is our custom sound pad right this is all the sound pads that he has up here but what we're doing is now we could populate our own custom you know stage so let's say I wanted uh, I now I'm, I'm playing a fantasy game and I want uh, Let's see, I want, uh, I want to do a dungeon. I really, I'm feeling a dungeon right now. So, I'm going to put in some drips of water. Uh, I want some water flowing. Maybe uh, I just played uh, uh, Under the Tavern by uh, the DMG.info with my players. And I used this sound pad for most of that, that, uh, that game. Um, so let me turn this water down a little bit. It's a little bit too loud. Um, so, uh, you know, doors opening. Uh, tons of traps in that game. So these were really cool to uh, spring my players when they weren't, you know, expecting. Uh, I put some oozes in my game. Uh, anyway, so... You, you go through this and you're populating your thing and you don't have to be one sound you know I, I could I could click on old tavern and then now all of a sudden I want to put an explosion in so all of these sounds I can just I can import into I could use any of those sound pads and import them to one sound pad that that's my choosing okay after that 
all I do is I save SoundPad and we'll just for now call it SoundPad 4 but you can name it like you know under the tab and I would click so now I have it saved if I click on this red button sound menu it, it scoots my window back over and now over here I see I have four saved sound pads so here's the one we just saved um, and then you know I have access I could get the link and then I can send that to my players when we get to the dungeon and they know that hey um, let me open this up now I have the same I'm hearing the same thing that my dungeon master is playing for me um, and, and, and vice versa now in future videos I'm going to show you how to infuse this in your online games uh, I've been learning fantasy grounds which is a powerful tool I really love it um, but I you know I, I bought the ultimate edition so I could play with my other players not everybody has those funds so I'm gonna get with Aaron of uh, project deadfall and see if he wants to get with me and show you how to do uh, this through Google and and you could play through Google just like like Fantasy Grounds and Roll for Twenty, without the without the bells and whistles. Okay, so so you can play, you can drop maps down, you can move your people, um, but you need you need you need Discord or some kind of you know speech program. I recommend Discord because it's you know nice and clean, and and Google and and I can show you that later. But that's not what this is about. So. Uh, you would get that link. You would share it to your people. They now have exactly what you hear, um, and, and, and now all of a sudden they're th they're escaping through the mountains, and, and this rock monster is just behind them, lashes out, and and then they hear that, and like say you're you're they're you're rolling attacks against them, and you you hear that dice thud on the table, and then you hear that. That gives you a whole different experience, a whole different feel as a player. So, if you are not using tabletop audio as a as a tool, um, man, this is such a tremendous asset to have. Like this, this automatically sinks your players in deep. Uh, if you're if you if you're a DM that wants more role playing out of your characters, this is so much easier to, to transition those people into it. If you're having characters or players that are losing focus, this is a great way to keep them on track because the the actual ambiance just filters out the real world and uh, only allows it allows their mind to process what their game is what the game is telling you to. So. Check this out, tabletopaudio.com. Um, I am proud to be part of this this amazing, um, you know, uh, web page. They they are a sponsor of mine. Uh, I've been using them for years, and and this is like one of the biggest honors that I've had of just being a part of him. So thank you, Tim. Uh, thank you for everything y'all do. Um, right now you see this little yellow sticky uh, the innies are up for this year and he is actually up for the best free product uh, category so if you could do me a favor and do him a favor for everything he does for you for free drop him a vote it's very easy you would click here it takes you straight to the innieawards.com you scroll down right here would be the best free product you would click on that and then I believe he's the third or fourth down, fourth down, uh, and you would just select one because one is your first vote. That's your best, your best vote. So give him a one right here. That's your first choice. So for me, for Tim, go vote for him. That would mean the world. Start using this as uh, a tool. This is a very, very powerful tool in your arsenal as a DM to not use. It's free to use. It's amazing to use. It's just all around a very well polished program uh, again he does have patreon or you could do a one-time donation of PayPal or a weekly or a monthly or daily or yearly whatever you want to do um, I'm all for helping out people that help others for free uh, that is a very undervalued um, commodity these days of, of people that are givers and take care of other people and not expect something in return so anyway 
I'll get off my soapbox. Much love, Tim. Thank you for, for what you do. Thank you for allowing me to be part of you. Um, I hope the music that I played in this background wasn't terrible sounding. Like, a, like Again, like I said, I don't have the equipment to properly record my screen and me playing at the same time. So my shortcomings, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, check this out. Go play with this. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, you can always find me on Roll for Damage 20 on Facebook. Um, I have a private group, Roll for Damage uh, RPG group, which is basically crafting and all things RPG that are unrelated to my channel, basically. Um, anyway, you can find uh, Tim at Tabletop Audio on Twitter on Patreon, on Facebook, um, I'm sure he's got a million other things to do. Uh, so, till next time, roll for damage, signing out.